So two for one. Vice continuing again, nice and straight on a beautiful pitch. Just have a look at that wicket out there. It really is absolutely superb. Well, that beats the outside edge. So Vice once again causing a few problems out there. It seems to me they're playing for the swing. And it's just not there. This one uh, going straight through to the keeper. I've got to say, I had a close look at that picture then. I know you did, Ranil, but it looks absolutely beautiful. And it's not surprising, it's Australian grass. Apparently, uh, the grass was brought over to one of the golf courses out there, and they use the, um, they use, uh, the grass from the golf course, Cooch. And it looks absolutely superb, it really is. Coley off the mark. And uh, it bounced a little bit too much, I think. Uh, shy down the far uh, end and the board just missing the stumps. The Sri Lankans are very, very good in the field. I think that was just a little bit high. It's yeah, so much excitement. Uh, first there was the big shout for the LBW. Kohli wasn't ready for the single. Kulasekara, a scramble scene, but it did come back on him. And again just beats the outside edge a little bit of frustration I think beginning to creep in to Coley here he's uh, he's received 10 balls so far and he's got a little stuck yes there's a fair chance that I mean the Vars will fall a long spell here the good one leaving the right hand batsman Jay Wodana generally uses Vars as much as possible when he's on song in his first spell, getting a bit of movement, beating the bat. Well, that's well played. Right, this will give us some idea of how fast the outfield is. It's running away to that long boundary. And, uh, they get three comfortably. So the end of the over, it's nine for one. Oh, well bowled, that nip back, that nip back. Beautiful bowling, there's certainly some movement out there. Yes, he does this time and again, that was an absolute beauty. Just cut him in half. Lucky it bounced a little bit more, went over the stumps, missed the pads, missed the stumps. That's into the gap and uh, again running away a square of the wicket. Yes, one does get the feeling that the Sri Lankans are well organized. You, you get the feeling they think about what they're going to be doing. Going back to uh, the last match, for, uh, the last uh, test series, for example, against the Indians, one had the feeling that they really had studied the review system. They didn't just walk out there and let it happen. And uh, again, they've obviously studied the players here. They know exactly what they're going to, going to do. Bayless uh, obviously is p very much part of that. It's well fielded. And the end of another relatively tidy over. 11 for 1. And just a little bit too straight again and once again played away into that mid-wicket area. Is this going to go to the boundary for 4? It does. That's the first boundary of the innings, and uh, not before time either. Yes, something for the Indian fans to cheer about. The first boundary coming in the seventh over. And again, just straying down the leg side, very nicely flicked away. Both batsmen have been playing well off the pads. Well, as a batting team, so you have a good foundation. Not to mention Siwak played men this very well. How close is that? How close is it? The finger goes up. The dreaded finger goes up. Kulasekara has a wicket. A wicket for Kulasekara. Vass got the first one. Two down, India. Well, he has been getting the ball to move in off the seam. Right-handed Kohli, again rooted to his place. Uh, hardly a step forward. In fact, at the crease, caught there. And he was dead. Absolutely dead on that one. Ball coming in, in fact, taking the back foot in line with the off stump. That is another big blow. India have lost their second of the day.
12 for Kohli, 23 for Doom. 